Hello Raptor lovers and welcome back to our channel. My name is Sven. This is my son Even, Hello. the cameraman, and this is Woody. And in today's video we are talking about the Bioactive Substrate 2.0. And what is 2.0 and why I have so many plastic parts here, we will see it in the video. So stay tuned. Okay, what is Bioactive Substrate 2.0? Okay, everybody of you, they know already how a bioactive substrate is built. There is down in the bottom is a drainage layer out of clay balls, may and sometimes, and you have to put maybe a, a drainage system in the bottom, or you can take uh, something to extract the the water out. And but I will go a step further. I will build. The same, uh, the same, like like everybody built the bioactive build, but down in the bottom I use those plastic. I don't know how it's called in uh, in English, but it's it's just a, a plastic bottom pieces. I will put this on the ground. Um, it's all ventilated down under here, and I will put my pipe who watch all the people who watch my channel they will know what pipe I mean if you don't know it click on my playlist you will see all the steps I will have I have a pipe here the pipe is behind behind my tree and this is I, I show you in a minute what it is and there is a pipe outlet and this outlet will blow the air inside those pieces then on top of it there will be like a uh, this is a foil where water can leak through and on top of it i build the same like everybody said i will build clay balls another layer of of mesh and then all the substrate so what happened uh, if the water drains through the through the clay balls and maybe there's more water the water will drop down here and will collect on the ground and then my warm air pretty warm and really dry air goes all the way down and blows under the substrate takes all the moisture with him and then i have those plastic pipes with with this filtration top here i have two of them they will be right and left in the corner and there will be the start and the air will blow all the moistened air out of the things, out of these pipes. So this is like, like a recycling thinking about this part. Taking hot or warm, really dry air, blow it down there, take the moisture under it with him and then blow the humidity warm air out of these pieces yes and this will hopefully works but if it doesn't work no problem i can i can build it uh, i can i can restart and build a normal one but i think it will work and yeah let's check how we want to or what we use to use uh, or to build the bioactive stuff Good. Before I start to build all this stuff, and I show you a few steps and maybe a time lapse of it, I can we can make a quick overview of the uh, material I use. It's like this one is normal normal clay balls. This will be the first layer. Then I have a big big piece of uh, cocoa fiber. Then I have a it's a big uh, piece of uh, it's for turtles turtle substrate I will use this I have play sand I have um, uh, activated carbon here that I will mix in and I have a big bottle of sphagnum moss and I will mix all this stuff together you can see it maybe on a time lapse and then hopefully it's enough, I will see if it's enough for my big enclosure. Okay, let's go to work. 
Okay, before I start to build all this stuff in, I will show you the ventilation pipe. It's down here. This is a ventilation pipe and you see there is a spray nozzle from my misting system. And if you want to know how I built the misting system, you can check out here my playlist. There are all the steps we did right now. So, and here is a pipe. It will pump the warm, dry air out here under those plastic bottom parts and then one over here and one in the other side and there will be the outlet okay i think we have to go to work Okay, I glued the pipes in, it's not pretty, but it worked. I have one here and one here, and now I will put the mesh over the sink. Good, so the drainage layer, this foil, the drainage foil, I put in. So it's nice and covered everything. On this top there will be the clay balls and down under there will be the ventilation from here to the Bose outlets. Okay, I put the clay balls in. It's nice for the feet. <laughs> that hurts, huh? Okay, this is a drainage layer. Now I will put another mesh on top so that the substrate doesn't mix with the clay balls. And this is my new monitor lizard in uh, my new monitor lizard. His name is Even. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go on. Okay, this is the mesh I will use to hold the substrate from draining into the drainage layer. Okay, go for the next step. Good, I took the big bucket and now I will mix all the stuff together and then I will put it into the enclosure. Yeah! <laughs> Okay, this is the first bucket. I put it in. Looks nice, but I have to fill a lot more right to this height, to the entrance of the cave. Okay, let's mix the next stuff. Okay, I put all the substrate in. Yeah, it could be a little bit more. I will think about it if I get something more. So what is missing now? I have leaf, uh, a lot of leaf letters here and cork bark pieces. I have cork bark pieces here. I disinfected them in the microwave for a few minutes. 
So now I will put this uh, in here. This is for the food for the isopods. Okay, we are ready for today. We put all the substrate in. I tried to film the ventilation system, but I don't have so much temperature differences between the ventilation start and the ground. But I will do this later. Yeah, and here you can see I put one of my cork barks like this. It looks like a root. And the next thing will be put all the plants in and all the branches and cork barks. This will be another video. But I think for today, even, what do you think? It's, we are ready for today. And for those of you who don't know what we build right now, here's our playlist. You can watch all, all our build videos. And if you like all the content, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. It doesn't cost anything, but it will help us a little bit to go on with these videos. Okay, I can say stay safe and we see us in the next video. Bye bye. bye.